police convoy transports more than 200 Cambodian human trafficking victims from the airport into the capital, Phnom Penh. <laughs> Many of them had endured years of hardship and exploitation, working in slave-like conditions on Thai fishing boats. Their ordeal ended last month when the boats they worked on illegally entered Indonesian waters and authorities arrested them. The Cambodian workers told RFA that they went to Thailand because they couldn't find decent jobs at home. But they said conditions on the fishing boats were harsh. When we lived illegally in another country without a passport, it was very difficult. They could arrest us and throw us in jail any time arbitrarily. Cambodia's government says it will investigate labor abuses in Thailand and try to apprehend human traffickers. In the meantime, officials say they will take care of the victims of human trafficking. Their wish was to return home. Now we need to assist them and build up their trust toward us. We do not consider them illegal workers. We consider them victims who need our assistance and our help to take them home. Cambodia's labor ministry has reported that about 72,000 Cambodians work overseas generating about $1 billion in income each year.